Hey guys, this is Razor. Welcome back to XCOM Life or Death. This will be our ninth mission and our first Black Sight mission. We're coming off a pretty tragic loss of two of our soldiers in our previous mission, so we're looking to rebound and hit Advent where it hurts them most, at their Black Sight. So come along for the ride and let's go put a dent in Advent. Okay, we're going to be investigating the Advent Black Site, Operation Storm Knife. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for our first Black Site mission, we're going to be taking Rai Talisman. I changed his nickname from Splinter just to plain old Talisman. It just seemed right to me. Splinter didn't seem right. Uh, we've also got Kirill Pavlov, who was with us on the last mission, as our gunner. We're going to bring back our sniper. Hopefully she'll do a, a little bit better this time than her last outing, uh, Painkiller. Also coming back is Hutch, Banner, our Rogue, and then of course our great Assault Specialist, uh, Bree Stewart. We do have the Bolt Caster, as well as the Frost Bomb, and we have done upgrades for the Arc Blade for our weapon, which is incredibly important because we lost the Special Axe uh, a few missions ago. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Contacts in the local resistance have shown us how to access the Advent Black Site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar, and we don't know what we're gonna find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. Oh, you got it, Bradford. We are ready for anything. Confirm the black site is in your immediate vicinity. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. Affirmative. Okay, so it looks like we've dropped off right here next to this building that's got a lot of elevation, and then we're going to continue to have to move forward for quite a distance before we actually get to the black site itself, and then just on the other side is the extraction point. It's a good thing that the, we're not going to be limited by the number of turns. So we can take our sweet time, try to knock out each pod one at a time. Those of you who have been watching the series will know that I've had some pretty bad luck lately. Uh, spawning some pods in my initial movement, so I'm going to be extra careful about that. Because if we spawn two pods early in this mission, it could be, it could be bad news. So we're going to be extra careful here. No rush. Check your corners, let's go! Let's get in. Do what we need to do and get out fast. Move! Oh! Understood. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move the squad up here to the top of this building. Try to get Painkiller into a good spot and then advance the squad down on the other side so that Painkiller can get off any kind of uh, squad side shots from there. So let's advance slowly and see how we can get up here. Looks like we're going to have to get up the side of this ladder. Move! Stay clear of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Okay, I just realized I don't think I brought a specialist, so we're not going to be able to hack these turrets. I have to take it by surprise and see if maybe we can throw a grenade and uh, cripple it from there. These mutons seem a little more agile than the ones we've fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line, though. Okay, I kind of had a feeling we might run into our first mutons on this mission. And those Najas are nothing to sneeze at either. They do 7 to 8 damage with that 80 aim. But I do not want to get too close here to where the turret can spot me. So I'm going to move Kirill over here. Okay, Partial yeah, cover. let's move. Okay, so far so good. I want to go ahead and get Painkiller in that full cover that I saw up there. Yeah, I think I can get her right here without being spotted. I'm not kind of—I'm not sure what kind of vision she's going to have from up there, but at least she'll be safe. 
move everybody back here just a little bit. I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, I don't think any of us can see any of these guys. So, we know where the turret is. The turret is located right here. I think I may just have us drop a grenade down onto the turret while we don't have any other aliens in sight, and then that way we won't trigger any other pods, but we will break concealment. Um, let's see. I wonder if we move our soldiers up here to the edge of this wall here, will the turret over here be able to see them? Let's find out. Let's move Kirill over here. Maybe not to the exact corner, but right here. Stay out of sight. Watch it. Okay. Not spotted, thank goodness. Boy, if I'd moved him any closer, that turret would have spotted him. Okay, so... Oh, he's inside of that, uh, Naja. And then those two troops right there. Okay, I think what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to have Kirill come back. Sir. Now he's out of sight of everybody. And I'm going to have Tom Banner... Well, he doesn't have a grenade. I think I'll have Brianna Stewart toss a grenade and destroy that turret. Yeah, it looks like that's perfect right there. Okay, there we go. We've been Copy that. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Turret is down and we don't have any enemies inside. Okay, now... Let me go ahead and get Painkiller ready to go. We do have a fire over here I want to be aware of, but I think she's okay for a round or two. Again, we're not on any time limit, so I'm going to go ahead and have her steady her weapon. Okay, the fire is spreading, so we're going to go ahead and move. I'm going to go ahead and give Painkiller Overwatch. And then I'm going to go ahead and move everybody else up. Kirill will probably spawn a pod over here. So let's see what happens. Doing what we can. Got three. Okay, I can live with that. It's only one pod. We have an engineer, a gunner, and an officer. It looks like the officer and the engineer both do around three, maybe four points of damage. The gunner does seven to eight points of damage. So he is going to be our primary target. Okay, banner. Nobody's in sight, huh? Okay, I may have him throw a flashbang in a minute. It's possible that I did not set up the best ambush here. Okay. Banner. Banner is going to throw a flash down here that I think, yes, it should affect all three of them. Roger! Okay, so the bad guys have been flashbanged, and then I think on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and have Kirill use area suppression. And I'm going to have him use it on the gunner because the gunner can do the most damage. So he's flashed. And he's suppressed. Hopefully he won't get anybody. Gotta miss. Are you kidding me? Careful. How did Kirill? What is going on with Kirill? Ah, what is? What the hell? You have got to be kidding me. Kirill fell through the roof. The gunfire from the gunner created a hole in the roof. Kirill just fell through it for additional damage. He has one health left, and he's burning. I have no health kits, no healing. 
I'm beginning to realize that I did not plan for this as well as I should have. Okay, Kirill's on fire, which means he's going to lose about three health at the end of the turn. He only has one health. I have no healing. I can't call down Sky Ranger. And as far as I know, there is no water anywhere around. There's snow everywhere, but no water. So, I don't see any way in which I can save his life. Uh, this is a crazy idea, but I'm totally out of ideas. I'm almost wondering if I could use the frost bomb on Kirill, and if somehow that might stop the burning. I don't think it will, but I'm literally out of options. Okay, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that Kirill is going to die. That being said, I might as well have him go out with a hero's death. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him jump down next to this officer here, get a flank, try to take out that officer, and then I will have Rai Talisman throw the frost bomb on Kirill and the Advent officer and just hope and pray that somehow that stops the burning. That's the only thing I can think of at this point. So here we go. Okay, got the flank. 87% chance. Oh, I got a crit. I got really a kill. should be keeping score. Okay, Kirill, I'm afraid that may be your la last heroic effort, and I appreciate everything you've done for us. But the mission must go on, so. Ride Talisman. Let's put Rye in full cover. Inbound! This is going to give up his concealment as well. If this works, I will be amazed. That barely reaches him. Okay, here goes nothing. Throwing the frost bomb on Kirill, hoping he stops burning. This might be really stupid. Oh, oh my goodness, it worked! Kirill Pavlov is no longer burning. <laughs> that is insane. He's frozen solid, and he's a sitting duck, but he's still alive. Wow. I'm learning something new every mission. Okay, well, now I've got to take out these two guys. I only have a couple soldiers to do it. Let's see if Painkiller has a shot from where she is. She does not. Okay, Brianna Stewart, these are some critical shots here because you're in partial cover, and if you get hit by that gunner, that's going to be bad news. So Brianna, you have a 66% chance of killing this gunner. Let's do it. Oh. Not good. Got to be kidding me. Okay, that leaves not many options. You know, I just realized I should have had Painkiller come up and throw her grenade to get rid of that cover. I think I'm going to still go ahead and do that and then try to have Banner take out the gunner. Because if the engineer over here hits us, it's probably not going to kill us unless he hits... unless he hits Kirill down there, who's only got one health. Okay, so Painkiller. I'm Come going over here. in. I hope your grenade reaches. Okay, let's throw this frag. I'm not sure if it's going to take out his cover or not. It's not even going to do any damage to him. But I'm going to go ahead and try. Okay, good. It took out his cover, and our last soldier, Tom Banner, has a flank shot now. 84%, but he can only do 3 to 5 damage. Damn. We're going to need a crit. Or max damage. Yes! Nice shot. Needed that. His nickname's Hutch, but I should call him Clutch. All we got left is the engineer. What's he gonna do? I hear a mech moving around. This. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Get them off me. Okay, we gotta get everybody away from this fire. That's making me nervous as hell. Look at Painkiller stranded out there with the fire. Wow, how is she not on fire right now? Okay, we gotta take out this engineer without tr triggering another spawn. Tom Banner. Let's have you... Yeah, let's just have you drop down and flank this engineer. Please don't spawn anybody. Okay, good. 88%. Nice. Okay, enemies down. Let's move you over here, Bree, and reload. Kirill is back. He's thawed out. He's only got one health. But somehow he is still alive. And here we go. Right on cue. There you go, Kirill. I don't have a shot! Okay. We got a Mouton and a Naha. I need to find out how that's pronounced. Naha or Naja. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Kirill move over here to get full cover. Stick to the shadows. And then I'm going to have him use Shadow Fall. Yeah, he's going to use Shadow Fall on the Naha. We shall instantly kill it and give him concealment so I don't have to worry about the Mouton. Tango what? is down! Shadowfall is so helpful. Okay, now Tom Banner, what do you got? Let's get you over here to full cover as well. Nice. Okay, I think if we blow that canister up, Kirill should be okay. So let's go ahead and do some guaranteed damage by hitting that canister. Hmm. It wasn't enough to blow it up. Okay. Bree? It's time for running gun. Commander. I'm ready, Commander. Okay, she should be able damage six to eight. Yeah, it's only got one health left. Let's see what kind of damage it does. Okay, looks like it shredded the Mouton and did four damage. If Rai Talisman can get a hit on this unprotected Mouton, he should be able to get a kill with that bolt caster. Okay, this is kind of risky. I'm going to leave him with no cover. Okay, no cover. 100%. And 9 to 11 damage, so this is a guaranteed kill. He's down! Well done, guys. Well done. Okay, painkiller. All you're really doing is just running around. Uh, without anything to shoot at. So let's get you in position here. Behind full cover. Roger that. Okay, looks like our objective is over here. Slightly to the left. So we're going to have to get everybody on the other side of the train. Check out these uh, bodies. Move into the building. And then our extraction is straight ahead. Back to the back. Probably at least two more pods. So we do need to be careful. It's a very ominous look. Okay, we have a turret. Okay, but no pods. Get a little bit closer here with Kirill. Look out. Okay, there's a pod. 
We have a Naja, an Advent Mech, and what looked like another engineer. Yeah, another engineer. So, Banner, let's have you. Let's move! Oh crap, that's gonna activate him. Damn it. Good at all. Is Kirill still concealed? I think he is. Yes, it looks like Kirill is still concealed, so he might be okay. Uh, Tom Banner, can you do anything? 71% of the mech. What about my sniper? Where's Painkiller? What can you do? 100% shot, 75% shot on the turret, 57. I don't like that. Uh, 100% shot I like. I don't like the fact that he's got all that armor and I don't do a whole lot of damage with my sniper rifle. Let me see what else I can do here. Tom Banner. I'm almost tempted to have Tom Banner drop back and have us pull these guys back into an overwatch trap and try to get out of range of this turret. In fact, I'm 100% sure that that's what I want to do. So I'm going to bring Tom Banner back here. Roger that. From whence he came. Yeah, that's the most direct route, Tom. Thank you. I'm gonna put Bree. She's in full cover, so I'm gonna go ahead and put her in Overwatch. And if they try to come through this train, her close quarters combat should take out quite a bit of damage. So let's try that out. Go! We'll cover you. Let's get right talisman a little closer as well. Although I do want to make sure he's got full cover. So I think. I'll just move him over here. Roger. Might as well do a little damage on the mech. Okay. Four points of damage. I'll take that. Oh, you know, they don't see us. Are they even going to come? Okay, here they come. Over the top. Okay, so Kirill is kind of a sitting duck. He's still technically concealed, but if I move him or do any kind of action with him, he's a dead man. So I'm going to just leave him there for right now. Tom Banner has nobody in sight, but you've got an advent mech directly above you. Okay, I'm going to have Nakano... Yeah, I'm gonna have her just take out this uh, this canister here and try to blow up the engineer. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful! Killed the engineer. I'm gonna move Tom Banner back. Actually, I want to make sure he's got Lone Wolf, so I'm gonna move him over here and take a shot at the mech. That was pretty 71%. Awful. 71% he missed. Okay, Bree. I don't want to use flesh because if I have to go up there or back to get the snake, I'm going to expose myself to the turret and I don't want to do that. So let's drop me, drop you back, Bree. Let's use your shard gun to take out the mech. 95%. I like it. Yes. Good job, Bree. Gotcha. What are these? And a promotion for Bree, I love it. But you know, just to be safe, I'm gonna put Kirill and hunker down. Fight coming! Boy, that, that tower is in bad shape. I'm surprised the snake isn't on fire yet. Okay, uh, I'm still not gonna do anything with Kirill just yet. Okay, Snake is not in Overwatch. I think if I move Tom Banner over here, I might get a flank on him. So let's try that out. Let's go! Yes. And it's going to have a nice crit chance because he's in Lone Wolf mode. Good 
beautiful. Okay, I must say, things were looking pretty bad several rounds ago when I thought Kirill was dead, but uh, things are definitely looking up now. We may only have one more pod left. I've got some loot up there i got to grab. Okay, let's see if Rye Talisman can jump up there and grab that real quick. Yes. Roger! Look at this loot. Somehow, Talisman is not seeing the turret from there. I guess he's just not quite close enough. So I'm going to leave him there and put him in Overwatch. I'm Kirill is still concealed. Again, don't want to jeopardize that, so I'm just going to put him in Overwatch. See if you can flush it out. Move Bree up here. Put her on Overwatch as well. In position. And I'll just reload with the painkiller. Affirmative. And we'll steady her weapon. Okay, Kirill does have a grenade. In fact, I think he's the only guy I have left who owns a grenade. So it might be a good idea, if I don't trigger anybody, to move him maybe up here. And to throw the grenade up there and try to take out that turret. I just want to make sure he can reach it with the grenade. I mean, he can almost reach it from where he is now, so surely he can reach it from there. Okay, I'm going to try that. Understood. If he doesn't spawn a pod, I'll throw the grenade. Okay. Done deal. There we go. Grenade! Damn, spotted. Okay. He's lost his concealment, but we don't have any turrets or anybody to worry about right now. I could do some double moves, get everybody a little bit closer together here. Come on! I'm in place. I hear a mech in there. Okay, when these doors open up, there's going to be a mech in there. Probably a couple of other bad guys. Um, i got to be careful I don't put too many people in Overwatch and have them get stuck where they can get flanked. Contact! Yep, there we go. Mech activated. Oh, two troopers. Right. Okay. Not too bad. We have a mech and two troopers. The last thing we want to do, though, is run in and spawn yet another pod. So we got to figure out how to take care of these guys, maybe force them to come outside and engage us. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really regretting having Kirill stay there with his uh, one health. I'm going to actually move Rai Talisman in here, just to kind of spread everybody out a little bit, maybe give them a better shot at the mech. Let's move! So many victims. Processed with such brutal efficiency. Test subjects for some sort of weapon, perhaps. Looks more like a refinery to me, Doctor. Once we get our hands on that sample, we'll know for sure. Okay. I think Rye Talisman already knew what was going on in these black sites, so he's not surprised. But definitely, ooh, 89% chance to hit this mech. I would really like to take this mech out in the first round before it can shoot us. Let's go for it. Oh! Trent! I need ammo! <sighs> Missed the 89% shot. Yeah, I'm going to move Bree over here to the side. I can still open that door. I can, po I can possibly... Oh, no, I can't. If I move her there, that's a double move. But I can move her right here, open the door, and put her in Overwatch, or maybe even get a shot off. I'm going to try that. I couldn't have said it better myself. Only 46%. Okay, I think I'm gonna try run and gun and move her even closer over here. They're not gonna be able to get a flank on her because they can't go through those windows. And it will help spread out the troops enough that maybe the Advent Mech won't launch rockets at Kirill. Really everything I'm doing here is trying to protect his life. I feel like I owe it to him after saving him with that frost bomb. 
Okay, so run and gun. Here we go. Understood, Commander. Look at this. 96% chance. Wow. If Talisman had just hit that first shot, we could finish off the mech right here. But now, 96% chance. We'll just hopefully try to wound it. Okay, Bree. Five damage. I, th I actually think I'm going to leave him in Overwatch back here because he's in full cover. If I put him all the way up here, that's going to make this area a likely target for the rocket. So I'm going to leave Tom Banner back here. He doesn't do a lot of damage anyway. I'll on six. And I'll do the same thing with Nakana because if I just move her, that doesn't really help me at this point. He's running away. He's confused. He short circuited. Twenty percent. Was I chance. hiding that well? Kill him. Ooh, that close quarters combat had a seventy percent chance. At least it keeps you on your toes. I'm under fire. I swear, Kirill is the luckiest guy in the world right now. Okay. I'm gonna have Dima take out this trooper at 96%. Okay. I'll have Kirill lay down suppression if I need to. Right, Talisman, I'm gonna have you reload. Good to go. You have 67% chance to take out this trooper. Do it. Wow, talisman, really disappointing me. And painkiller, I, I have no idea what painkiller's doing up there. She obviously can't see anything through all of this, so I'm gonna have her just run all the way over here. I will go where I'm most needed. Maybe eventually she'll get a shot off. Okay, I am really tempted. I don't want to regret it, but I'm really tempted to move Tom Banner here. I'm gonna do it. Watch my six. He's got to get a better shot than that 39%. 46. Not much improvement, but we're gonna go ahead and take it. Shit. Okay, Kirill. You know, actually, instead of laying down suppression, I'm gonna move Kirill back here to full cover. Let's move. I think he might still... No, he cannot see to this suppression. But I'll put him in Overwatch at least. He should be okay. Jump shot. Now an example must be made. Oh my goodness, 83%! She missed! You and I forget what they deserve. We're missing some high percentage shots, folks. That should have been a kill shot for Bree. Oh! What the hell? Hello! I need medical attention! We're gonna need more cover! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What just happened? What is going on? The mech just surfed. He just moonwalked underneath the catwalk. Are you kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, Right Talisman, the leader of my fearsome soldiers, just died because the full cover he was behind exploded for apparently no reason it was not on fire the wall behind him was on fire I'll have to go back and look at the replay but I did not see what caused the object in front of him to just suddenly disintegrate not to mention this mech somehow surfing underneath the catwalk how in the hell did he get there look at this I wonder if he can even move from there so I've lost my top soldier uh, I'm going to chalk it up to a bug until I go back and look at the replay. 
I am so thankful I moved Kirill back, because he would have been a goner if he had stayed right there. Hutch lost three points, but he's still alive at least. And my sniper, who's not worth a lick, is panicking. I don't even know what to do at this point. This is crazy. Marie, go ahead and reload. What do you got? 96% on that mech. Let's just finish that bastard off. He's still surfing across the floor. Nice shot. Okay, one way or another, I got to get Hutch to some cover. Forty-eight percent chance. Let's just do it. Let's go. We got loot, but at this point. Anything you like. I'm a little bit bummed, so uh, I'll take a look at the loot a little bit later. Let's go ahead and uh, move you back to a little bit of cover. Stand by. Got walls exploding everywhere. Not a problem. Jeez. Walls are crumbling everywhere. This is insane. Okay, we got to get out of this war zone. Where a rock falls on top of Kirill and kills him. I can hear him coming. Let's go. We're too exposed. <sighs> okay, so here's the deal. Even though we picked up the loot from Rai Talisman, we're not going to get the bolt caster uh, or the frost bomb unless we carry his body out of here. So that's going to get kind of tricky. I think right now, while we don't have any enemies activated, I'm going to go ahead and pick up his body. We'll carry it as close as we can to the extraction point. And then once we plant the C4, obviously reinforcements are going to come in. But hopefully we can carry Rai's body uh, and get him out of there and recover those artifacts. Keep your eyes peeled. Look at that. Ooh, one on the roof. Why'd it have to be snakes? Seems like they're everywhere. Okay, so we have a Naja right by the uh, objective, two Najas, and a Viper. Uh, only 10% chance to crit, so she can hit it, but she probably won't kill it. Let's go ahead and see what she can do. Five damage. You heard the doctor. Secure that canister. <laughs> Thanks, Bradford. Uh, like we had no idea what we were doing. Okay, I really want Hutch to have seven spaces between him and everybody else so he gets that lone wolf benefit. So in order to do that, I gotta move Bree before he fires his shot. There is some full cover here. It's not quite seven squares away, though. But there's not a lot of options either. So I'm gonna go ahead and move her up here. Not very good. Let's see what Hutch has. He's got 68%. That was sloppy. We are just not on point Don't today. Sad. Position. Missed 91% post-combat. You're on now, buddy. <sighs> Goodbye, painkiller. Target! 12 o'clock! Okay. We're in a huge amount of trouble here. If I'm not careful, I'm going to lose every single soldier. We just lost painkiller. And as upsetting as that is... It probably doesn't hurt us that much, <laughs> to be honest with you. She hasn't done anything up to this point. Um, I'm real concerned right now about Bree. Now, fortunately, all we have to do is wound the Viper, 
and he'll release her. She should be okay. And Tom Bandit does have a flanking shot. I can even move him in a little bit closer to almost guarantee the hit. I'm gonna do that. Watch your sectors. Okay, 86%. Critical shot. One hundred percent. About that one. Okay, that leaves Kirill. He's behind full cover. Only a forty seven percent chance for a shot. I think. 47% is not very good, so I think instead I'm going to go for the area suppression and I'm going to go with this Naja up here at full health because of the damage that he can do. Watch it! He's under a lot of fire. Careful! More walls exploding. All hell is breaking loose. Banner is out of ammo, so I have to have him reload. I don't think he's got like just a standard. He does have a, a standard pistol, so if I move him, let's say all the way over here, can he use his pistol? I think he can. I'm gonna do it. Advancing, watch my six. Okay, fire pistol. Yes. 100% shot. Nice. Okay, this Angle is working down. out. Okay, now Bree, without reloading your weapon, let's have you use flesh. Cross our fingers and hope that there is no other pod right over here. And let's finish off this nausea. Yes. Okay. Whew. Breathing a sigh of relief here. We have a chance. Copy that. Okay, I don't think that we have any other active pods anywhere on the map just because the, the alien turn was so amazingly fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to switch in cover. Try to get as close as I can to the extraction point without possibly triggering an outside pod. And then we'll go ahead and plant the C4. If I can get Kirill to take Talisman's body out of here, among these other two soldiers, then I'll be I'll be okay. We, we've lost two soldiers, but we can still accomplish our goal. This is going to be a little bit boring to watch, so I may edit it out. But I'm going to have Kirill bring Rai's body up here, drop it off behind the truck here, and then I'm going to go back and get Painkiller's body and bring it up as well. Once I plant the C4, try to figure out a way where I can have two of my soldiers carrying their comrades as we move towards the extraction point. We're going to see if this works. It just takes forever to set these guys down. They're dead, Banner. You don't have to take your time. Just drop them. Okay, once Kirill gets up here to the extraction point, we'll have both of our dead soldiers' bodies up there. So we'll be able to recover their equipment. I'm going to leave both of them up here on this platform to shoot at reinforcements when they come in. And I'm going to have Bree plant the C4 and run her ass off to get here as quick as possible. Oh, I keep saying C4, I just for I forgot. We're not planting C4, we're just simply taking a vial. It's like taking candy from a baby. What are these? Guessing that's not water in there. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity, no significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. We've confirmed acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous at the extraction point. Time to play, boys! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's our reinforcements, and the good news is they are way over there. 
So I don't think we're going to have any trouble getting everybody out of here because Bree can move pretty fast and then they'll drop down and then I can move everybody else again before they even have a chance to fire. So I'm going to go ahead and move Bree. She's got full movement. I'm not even going to worry about Overwatch or any of that mess. And just put her out here. And I think my other two guys are already in Overwatch, so let's go ahead and see what happens with these reinforcements. We have targets near. Roger that. Okay, so Bree is going to have no trouble getting up there. I say no trouble. Wow, she just barely makes it with one tile to spare, but it looks like she's going to be able to make it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my other soldiers go ahead and grab and go. We're not going to worry about engaging the enemy. Okay, our three living soldiers are ready to go, and we're going to get out of this black site. Uh, thankful that we were at least able to escape with the vial and save three of our soldiers' lives and accomplish the mission. Shotgun! A close one. This is Firebrand. Package is secure. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Mission accomplished, Commander. We just hit Advent where it hurts. This was a place no living human being was ever intended to see. Happy as I am to see it gone. Something tells me the aliens won't take this lying down. No, they won't. Our rating is fair, but we accomplished our objective. We lost two soldiers, uh, which really sucks, especially because one of them was our, our top soldier, right, Talisman? And we lost our sharpshooter as well. Uh, but I think it's an important step for us to go ahead and take out this first black side region. Well, we accomplished our objective, so I guess I have to give MVP to somebody. Uh, Kirill was lucky, but not necessarily our MVP. Hutch was all over the place, had some critical shots, but again, I think for the, what is this, the third time now? I think I'm going to give MVP to Bree. So she gets our MVP, and to be honest, I'm, I'm a little surprised and relieved that we were able to accomplish the objective in this mission and, and come out of it with three soldiers. For a little while there, I was, I was worried we were going to have a total party wipe. Okay. No surprise that our three surviving soldiers do get a promotion. Kirill, we've already given you Shredder. Demolition, your target's cover. Oh, okay, a volley of bullets that destroys the target's cover, damaging or destroying it. it does not hurt the target. It's kind of like getting a free grenade to destroy cover, but without actually damaging the target. I think that if I combine Demolition with Shredder, that's a good combination for weakening or exposing the target, which is kind of kind of be Kirill's role. So I'm going to go with Demolition. Okay. Hutch. Scouts watch. The Rogue no longer has reaction fire penalties in Overwatch and crit, but can only watch over small regions. I'm going to go with that. Scouts watch. None of these perks are really exciting me tremendously as the Bree has. Hey, look at this. How appropriate. Bree gets our hidden ability from the Advanced Warfare Center. Thanks to the efforts of the AWC, she's learned a combat ability outside of her area of specialization. So now, look at this. This is amazing. Bree's shotgun attacks now will shred armor. That is unbelievable. Nice. And we still get to pick one of these. Slugshot. 
Special shot for primary shotguns only. Fire a shot with no range penalties and uses two ammo. I'm going to use that because there's a lot of times where she's in a situation where she's got a target that's 20 tiles away. And she only has like a 20% chance to hit because the shotgun has such horrible range. So we're going to go slug shot. Especially now that she can shred armor. I think shredding armor with that slug shot will really come in handy. Painkiller, it was good to know you. Look at that. Two missions, zero kills. Uh, I hate to say anything bad about a dead soldier, but she was really useless. Uh, sorry, painkiller. Talisman, 13 kills. That's hard as hell to replace, but uh, we'll f we're going to find a way to do it. Now that we've recovered the apparent product of the Black Site facility, I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. Okay, our building is moving right along. We got three more days for proving ground, two more for clearing machinery, and a couple more for the alien debris. But our power is maxed out, so I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the power relay here so that I can use one of these areas to build something else. 80 supplies, let's go ahead and do it. Power relay upgraded. Our rookies, let's see what kind of aim they have. 62 and 59. Whew. Neither one of them is screaming sharpshooter to me. Reinhardt. Good guy, good soldier. Not very good aim, but you know, if I give him the bolt caster and he's got 13 mobility, I think he'll be a good shinobi. So we're going to make Dutch Reinhardt our shinobi. And we don't have a whole lot of soldiers. Look at this. Now they'll heal up pretty quickly, but as of right now, we only have four available soldiers. Let's go ahead and grab one more recruit. Okay, looking over the recruits, normally I like to just go with whoever's up at the top. But I'm looking here, and Stephanie Scarberry has 79 aim. I have never seen a rookie with 79 aim. That's phenomenal. And it just so happens that the one position that we have open is a new sharpshooter. So I think I'm going to go ahead and recruit Stephanie Scarberry, and we're going to make her our sharpshooter. Stephanie was an elementary school teacher for the first decade following the alien invasion. Eventually, she couldn't take another day of feeding Advent propaganda to America's youth. So she left on her lunch break and never returned. She initially worked with a local resistance outfit in Lincoln, Nebraska, before eventually finding her way to XCOM. All right, so we got a former school teacher. Like her outfit, her gun, uh, and that 79 aim is really going to come in handy as a sharpshooter. I don't really, at this point, want to gain intel nearly as much. Welcome, Commander as getting medical assistance. So we're going to switch over to medical assistance and try to speed things up. Okay. Now we'll heal people faster as we kill time. Retaliation mission. Boy, that didn't take it long at all. This is not good timing because this is happening so fast. I'm not going to have my troops at full strength. Okay, so we have to confirm, which means we're going to be sending primarily squaddies on this retaliation mission and possibly even a rookie or two. Not excited about it, but we have to accept the mission. Um, it may be one of those retaliation missions where we drop down and the moment we encounter Advent, we pull back out. But we got to at least give it a shot. So we're going to go ahead and end the current mission, the current episode right now. This was mission number nine, our first Black Site mission. I thank you for watching. This is Razor signing off, and I will see you next time for Operation Dead Man's Shroud.